Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Astral Chain on the Steam Deck. Uh, originally it was released on the Nintendo Switch and we're going to be emulating it through Ryojinx and Yuzu Early Access as well. Encore, fully seated. Activity levels at 35.72, 36.18, I decided to start off with Ryujinx because I hadn't really used it too much on the Steam Deck, except for my quick comparison between Tears of the Kingdom, uh, in my one of my initial videos. In that, I found that Yuzu offered better performance across the board, and it kind of seems this way for Astral Chain as well, especially just watching the cutscene here. There's no, no even frame pacing. There's the the frame rate's just wacky. It's all over the place. So it wasn't off to a good start. As we can see here with Ryujinx on the left and Yuzu Early Access on the right, I tried to line it up as best as I could and I think I did an okay job, but you can tell that the slowdown on the left hand side is causing it to lag behind eventually and the right hand side is catching up. So this was a very good sign for Yuzu immediately right off the bat because we are getting basically a lock 30 through this brand new cutscene that I hadn't run before so all the shaders were compiling and doing whatever was in the background. So things were looking up. Moving over into the first intro cutscene out of cutscene, sorry, gameplay into the motorcycle ride and you can shoot whatever. It playing on Ryujinx, it was just laggy as all hell. So I just wrote off Ryujinx. We're not gonna touch Ryujinx. We'll just go with Yuzu. So doing that with Yuzu, we saw that there was moments of 30 FPS, but during combat and heavier kind of instances in that little run there it dropped down the FPS quite considerably. Now keep in mind I was just running this stock settings, didn't do any tweaks to the Steam Deck, nothing. I was just seeing out of the box performance what we could get. Getting into actual gameplay of having control of the character, being able to move around, I was able to then kind of play with the engine and game a little bit more. Uh, so what I ended up doing immediately was installing a GPU lock, and as you'll see, that kind of smoothed out the frame times, and you can see flipping it on and off that once you have it off, and it's a... It's a very low GPU usage game as well, like it was only using uh, 200 to 300 megahertz a speed for the GPU like it, it wasn't you didn't need to lock it very high so I put it at 600 then I tried around 900 as well but you can just keep it relatively low 600 would be safe I'd say In actual combat and when new shaders are being built though, that's when things kind of take a nosedive. And it's not a harsh, harsh nosedive, but it is drops to the low 20s. Unfortunately, so things were not looking very good at this point for Astral Chain. Like it, and you'll see I did some tweaks, I played with SMT, definitely playing with SMT turned off was the way to go. Uh, but beyond that, even pinning the CPU and doing any sort of overclocking, undervolting didn't really seem to do anything for the game. Pretty 
proceeding into heavier gameplay, this is where things actually did nosedive below the 20 FPS mark uh, considerably and consistently. So then afterwards getting to this point, I decided to go back out and start going into some Yuzu custom settings. And honestly, my custom settings usually consist of just using my Tears of the Kingdom settings, which are CPU auto, GPU normal, uh, reactive flushing, uh, the bottom two settings turned on, and GPU fast time turned off, uh, and then async presentation turned off as well, and the second one from the top turned off. I can't remember all the names, I apologize. But anyway, usually that will kind of net me the best results in Switch games on the deck, aside from doing actual deck tweaks with the GPU and CPU and all that. Now moving over to my Yuzu custom settings, which again were essentially the same as my Zelda custom settings, they seem to net the best performance across the board for the Steam Deck. Now this section is after a lengthy little tutorial interior scene, at least a little hub base I guess it's called, or whatever it could be. I'm not too familiar with this game, I apologize. It is interesting, but I'm just <laughs> not too familiar with it, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway... So in that little hub world, I was getting nearly lock 30 FPS most of the time, and it was it was great. And I'm like, okay, maybe it was just that one scene, but no, as soon as you move back out into a combat area, that's when things just start going south again. So unfortunately with this one, I don't think there's really anything further we can do because we're just CPU limited in this game. And honestly, I don't think there's going to be any helping this game maybe a few years down the road but at that point your steam deck is going to be woefully outdated you're probably going to have the steam deck 2 or whatever is going to be out at that point so uh, at the end of the day unfortunately astral chain is not playable on the steam deck uh i wish i wish it was honestly i would say that tears of the kingdom is probably more playable than this and Tears of the Kingdom is barely playable. So, uh, I don't know. I'll revisit them again, though, when the ROG Ally comes out. Mine's been delayed, apparently, by a day. So, maybe it'll be a little bit late kind of getting some of the content together. But, I'll throw stuff together. We'll obviously do Tears of the Kingdom. We'll do some Astral Chain. We'll do some more, peop uh, more games that people have been requesting. Sorry. And yeah, that'll do it for this one. If you guys like the content, let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys have been trying it, if you've tried different settings, if you've had different results. Let me know what games you want me to test in the future. I'd be happy to make like little performance uh, videos. And I just wanted to say going forward with these kind of performance analysis videos, um, I'm not going to necessarily do like the GPU, uh, CPU benchmarking, uh, like frame rate benchmarking and all that stuff all the time. I'm going to do it when I think it's necessary and where it's warranted. So in a game like Astral Chain where you're just getting dog crap performance across the board no matter what, whether you're on Ryu, Jinx, or Yuzu, or whichever, it I'm not going to bother wasting my time finding an area and doing a benchmark run when the game is just consistently below 30 all the time, especially during key moments. So I'm not going to put in the time and effort of doing those little benchmark runs because it's not going to prove anything. It's going to prove that, yes, the game does run poorly. We don't need any charts or benchmarks to prove that. So hopefully with kind of implementing this, I'm able to streamline and produce content a little bit faster with these emulation videos. So I'm not bogged down on the slower and harder to run games that you just can't get to run regardless, but people have been requesting videos on anyway. So... Um, let me know what you guys think. If you really want me to keep implementing the benchmark charts, I can, and I will. But again, I just don't see a need for it. If it's a game like Kirby, where we were getting consistent scenes that were at 30 and then dips below, then yeah, like doing things like that with the benchmark charts with the SMT on and off, yeah, for sure, that makes sense there. But with a game like this, whether SMT's on or off or whatever, it's just no good. So <laughs> I'll wrap up this lengthy outro. Again, thank you for everyone who subscribed. It's definitely not needed. Um, maybe I'll start asking that you subscribe more often if you're interested into it, but I'm not going to beg, and that'll be it. 
Um, expect more giveaways in the near future as well. I got some more game codes to give away. I've got some more content coming. I've got uh, some sponsored type content. Uh, companies are sending me products to review and stuff. There's going to be some Steam Deck stuff, some handheld emulation stuff. Uh, if you're into a Nintendo Switch style emulation device, keep your eyes out for that. Uh, hopefully near the end of June we'll get that in hands. And uh, yeah, if you're excited for any of that or any of the content going forward, then feel free to subscribe. If not, no hard feelings. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.